epiphany. We were just saying that you have major changes, like always, but like, I don't know, something's happening around these days. So make sure you're watching yesterday's video, make sure you're watching the weekly, it all does go together. So the number on here, I don't know if this is going to focus because of my face. It's trying, it's trying, it's tracking my face. It's more worried about my face. There we go. <laughs> um, the number nine is on here. And we're going to focus now. Nine says, hey, job well done. You, you can you can stop this. Pencils down. That's the best way to put it. Pencils down. You haven't quite gotten the grade back on the exam. Okay, but you can be done with the exam. That's the number nine. Now, this epiphany is Archangel Raphael. Not Raphael. That was a slip. So work with Raphael as well. But this is Archangel Raziel. And it says, joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. So we were just talking yesterday about how Sometimes, if we want to call them lighted souls, will take up a spot next to someone who is very unhealed. And yes, that does sound very codependent and it doesn't sound healthy, but we, all of us do a lot of unhealthy, stupid things. I don't know what to tell you. I didn't make the rules, <laughs> okay? <laughs> but this is something that we need to acknowledge in ourselves. Like, do I feel like I'm shielding others if I'm the punching bag? Do I feel like if I take up this spot and then nobody else can have to put up with what I'm putting up with? Because I know I'm strong enough to take it. It's not healthy, but I think a lot of people will do that sometimes. So be a light to others. That's part of that. But this epiphany is, is realizing I don't have to do that or I can be done with this way of life or I can be done with this lesson. A big epiphany for a lot of you too just because someone puts it out there doesn't make it true. That was one of the biggest things I had to heal from because I had a lot of influences in my life that would, you know, downplay what I said or I was around a lot of narcissists. I was around a lot of narcissists and their whole game was to make me feel awful. <coughs> and I always thought that their judgment was better than my judgment. And then I just realized they're the biggest cons going. And I allowed myself, you know, and I beat myself up. Like I'm even saying now, I let myself believe that. So this epiphany is learning to not beat yourself up, number one. But also opening up and realizing, hey, I've, I've allowed a narrative to sink in that it is not true. It is not true. Or I've allowed myself to... Uh, go after a definition of happiness that it doesn't make me happy. That's going to be a big one. It's going to be deep <laughs> for a lot of you. Now, if you want to get a personal reading with me, angelsouls444.com. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Sorry for the coughing. Tis the season. Okay. Um, I do, as of the recording of this video, have a discount code up. If you follow me on socials, I put those up every once in a while. Okay, I really do. This one's Black Friday 30. If you are seeing this at a later time and it's not working, then it's not working. Okay, it's not working. I am doing live readings here and there. Those are at a higher price point, so I just want to give you a heads up about that. Uh, but if you would like to get a session with me, you can go to angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Uh, let me know what country you're in because not all countries I can, you know, do services for. Um, country, time zone, how much time you're looking for, days and times that may work for you, and then we get it all set up, okay? So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.